Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. This is coming to Walmart here. Take a quick look at the produce here. They got the navel oranges, 93 cents a piece. That seems like it's up, but it's been a while since they've had the single oranges out. They do have, wait a minute, three pounds. There's no way that's $8.66. What? Really? There is no way that is this price for three pounds. If it is, then we should just leave now. But anyway, they got peaches here, $1.98 a pound. Uh, that is up from $1.78 a pound, which was a pretty good deal here. Still a good deal considering most places it's $2.49 a pound. A lot of places like Kroger and Meyer have been having them on sale though, right about 99 cents a pound. So. Okay, so I walked over here to find out what this price was all about here. It's eight sixty six for five pounds, which is still a bad deal. I can't believe it's that high. The three pounds are actually four ninety eight, which is about normal. So the tomatoes here are dollar ninety eight a pound, which we've seen much better deals and much better looking tomatoes. These are like orange. It amazes me how much this cheap bagged lettuce has gone up in price. Uh, it was $1.38 a little over a month ago. It has kept going up every week. It is $1.78 now. This was $0.98 cents last year. Looks like the produce is getting hit pretty good here at Walmart. We're going to go check out some other things, some things uh, people have been asking about. We've been getting a lot of comments on rice lately, so I wanted to come over here. A lot of the big bags are gone. They do still have the 20-pound bags of Mahatma Jasmine rice which a lot of people were asking about, $23.36 here, uh, which is actually a pretty decent price. It's hard to find this anymore for less than $25. Uh, they do have the five pound bags for $6.88 and the smaller ones for $3.24. Get a lot of comments about the Mahatma Jasmine rice, people not being able to find it. Um, yeah, it's, it's low around here too. Always able to find some at Walmart here, so I wanted to point this one out. We also continue to get a lot of comments on the Ben's Original Ready Rice. This is one of the cheapest places uh, to find it. Um, and actually, they must have got a truckload of it in here because this was uh, near gone the last time we were here. $2.12. Uh, Kroger's did lower their price to $2.29. It was $2.49. It's pretty much $2.49 everywhere else now. I believe it's still $2.39 at Meijer. Uh, but yeah, $2.12 is pretty good. pretty good price. And just like last year, we are starting to see macaroni and cheese kind of take a hit again. Uh, it's a lot more expensive than it was a year ago. These were $2.98, then they went up to $3.34, now they're $3.43. So not huge price increases on the mac and cheese, but this is actually fairly cheap because we've been seeing these for right around $4 in a lot of different places. And they still have their three packs of the Velveeta for $7.47. It is the same exact price for the Kroger, or I mean uh, Kraft, macaroni and cheese. They do have the microwavable cups here that some people have asked about. I will say though, they continue to go up in price. These were $3.98 for the longest time here at Walmart, but the Velveeta and the Kraft are now $4.74. That's crazy. We have pretty much found Chef Boyardee canned goods pretty much on sale uh, everywhere right now. We saw them at Kroger for $1.25 a can, $1.24 here. But as you can see, SpaghettiOs, are pretty, they've been $1.50 a can pretty much everywhere. So $1.26 a can here is why people are buying it up here because it's just too expensive anywhere else. So anything in question, I always, it, my, me myself, I always take a picture of something so that if I get up to the register and it rings up the wrong price, hopefully they'll give it to me for what the sticker price is. 38 ounces of the Heinz tomato ketchup, 398 still here, 489, and some Kroger's I've heard have gone over five dollars for the 38 ounce thing of ketchup. Now, now they have the 32 ounce here for four dollars and 26 cents, which I don't. That's ridiculous. So when you first look at this, you might think that all oh, Sweet Baby Ray's is kind of uh, very low, but what I notice here is that Walmart has a rollback offer. This is a huge bottle, uh, 40 ounces of Sweet Baby Ray's for $2.98. We've seen the 24 ounces for $2.98, so that's a really good deal. 
we also get a lot of comments on Goya products. I gotta say, these have gone down here. $1.22 for these cans. These were $1.49, just like, or $1.48 at Walmart. They always like to go a penny cheaper with that even number. Some of them are still $1.48, some are a little more expensive, but yeah, these had all gone down to $1.22. Who knows, this might actually be a lower price here. All right, so we've been getting a lot of comments on ramen noodles, and I gotta say, this is the lowest that I've seen ramen here at Walmart since last year when they were out. So, um, you know, if you like your ramen noodles, uh, another thing too is that it's still fairly cheap here. Uh, it's still under $3 for the 12 pack of the single serve ramen, $2.87 here. Um, I do believe these are still 28 cents a pack. Yes, 28 cents a pack. We've been seeing the smaller packs here go for 45 cents a pack pretty much everywhere else. So if you're at Walmart and you like ramen, this is where you get them. Okay, so I thought we would just take a quick look at the spaghetti. You guys notice anything here? From maybe our last trip to Walmart? I'll give you a second here. No? Okay, so this area right here to where it extends where the hunts, uh, diced tomatoes and stuff are, they condense this again. Now this used to extend past the sauce. They've extended the, or they've condensed the pasta into this little tiny small section. I mean, they're not getting any. Uh, I mean, they are, but you can see how they're packing it in. Obviously, they don't want to have a bunch of empty shelves. You know, they want it to look nice. I get it. But this is just a, you know, they're running very low. Still 92 cents for a pound of spaghetti of the great value. And great value spaghetti is pretty good, so. Got a comment a little while ago that they couldn't find the original Velveeta block cheese. $7.98 here at Walmart. More importantly, they have it. They've got all the different flavor ones too that we don't usually find in other stores. $7.98 here, it's pretty much $8.99 everywhere else. $8.99 at Kroger. Like Walmart is starting to get a lot more peanut butter back in. Uh, they're really selling a lot of these uh, of their own brand. We saw where their own brand was pretty much wiped out uh, six, seven months ago. And it took them a long time to get it in, but they got it in now. 64 ounces for $4.94, I gotta say. We haven't had one bad comment on the Great Value Creamy Peanut Butter. We get hundreds of comments a day, uh, even on all our past videos. So if you're a new viewer, uh, you know, you can check through those. And, you know, if you're having trouble finding something, you know, we have uh, people from all over the country, all over the world, really. Uh, so, you know, if you see somebody that's in your state, you know, if, if you're having trouble finding something, make sure you let, let us know what state you're in or city if you can. So that if someone else on the channel is in your city, they can kind of tell you what some of the stores are like where they are. Wow, Jeff went up here. This was $6.38 right after the recall. Now this was $5.98 before the recall. Um, and that expires in 2024. But yeah, that's the first big thing of Jeff I've seen in a little while. Looks like the prices went up here at Walmart, so who knows what it's gonna be anywhere else. And if you happen to miss uh, my review of the Peter Pan peanut butter here, I had gotten a lot of comments. People were really wanting me to try this, finally did. This is probably now my favorite peanut butter. This is awesome. Not a big fan of the regular Peter Pan, but with this honey roasted creamy, this is fantastic. Somebody had mentioned the other day that they uh, were looking for, or that they found the Gallon Craft Ranch, the big jug of it here. I think you said you paid like $14, just wanted to show. It's $12.78 here at our Walmart. This is the big, the big can section here. This is crazy. Look at this can of tuna. Oh my goodness. What is that? $13.98. That is the biggest can of tuna I've ever seen. These look like they're getting spam back in at our Walmart. These are the 12 ounce cans and Somebody mentioned the bake, the bacon spam up here. Um, never tried this one. Three dollars and fifty-eight cents as well. Doesn't seem like too bad of a price. Also, nine dollars and ninety-eight cents for this four-pack of chunk chicken breast of the great value. We've got some pretty good comments on this. Uh, so basically, you would get eight of these for about the same price as what you would get for six of the members mark. Uh, members Mark's gone up on their chunk chicken breast. We really like the Members Mark, but uh, great value. Haven't had great value chunk tuna, uh, chunk chicken breast, 
but uh, I've got a lot of we haven't gotten any bad comments on it okay someone left in the comments that they have not been able to find the tuna creations they do have them here and they're on a rollback offer for a dollar got a lot of variety here too we usually this is usually pretty low around here in the stores hot buffalo sweet and spicy hickory smoked honey barbecue ranch herb and garlic lemon pepper i've had this one that's pretty good um yeah for a dollar though already mixed and ready to put on a sandwich all right guys want to quickly go over the cooking oil here they do have the canola oil that has gone up from 348 to 367 and the great value vegetable oil from 328 to 347 which is kind of funny because we got a couple odd numbers in here uh i don't know maybe they're trying to throw me off or something but anyway <laughs> they still have the 48 ounces of the canola oil here for five dollars the funny thing is that the 40 ounces nope that's 48 also do they have any of the 40 ounces? okay these are all 48 ounces so probably after these are gone they're probably going to start getting in the 40 ounces 597 597 this is 649 at kroger and the canola oil the crisco at kroger is 699 so pretty ridiculous so I did want to quickly point out, looks like Walmart is pretty loaded down on candy. Um, you know, I've just started checking on candy again since uh, Hershey's came out and said there was going to be a shortage toward Halloween. Now, Halloween's three months away, so um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it, but I don't really think it's going to be too big of an issue. I mean, you know, knock on wood. There's no wood here. I'll knock on my head. There we go. But, uh, you know, I just, I don't see it being too big of an issue, especially because there's so much competition. Um, you know, if, I'd hate to lose the Reese cups, but. Okay, so we got a comment on V8 juice. Someone has not been able to find the original, so I wanted to come here and show that not only does Walmart here have the original, at our Walmart anyway, does look like they're getting more in. We did see a shortage of V8. It's been a while, a few months ago, but it is only $4 here. Um, it is $4.89 at Kroger, so way cheaper. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't know if Walmart's getting a lot of coffee in here. It kind of looked like this the last time we were here, um, and, and actually had they had a lot more Folgers. I mean, it is ten dollars and thirty-two cents for the regular price. It's been cheaper than Kroger's regular price of eleven seventy-nine, but it's been on sale at a lot of different places. So I really don't know. Maxwell House looks pretty low too. Um, Cafe Bastello, they got one. I don't know. This, ugh, this might be something we have to uh, keep an eye on. Uh, does look like they got plenty of Dunkin'. Uh, some of these, now you know, they have condensed their coffee aisle. The coffee used to extend out past here, but it has shrunk a little bit. Uh, they do have the 30 ounces here, $18. This has been right about 20, uh, 20, 21, 20. We've even seen it for $22 at some places for the 30 ounce Dunkin'. So $17.92 is not a bad price. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. That's pretty low. This is this is crazy looking. So we had a comment on tea. Someone was asking to see the tea. Not going to go over every one of them here. Walmart's always pretty low on different varieties of tea. So this doesn't surprise me too much. Um, the coffee really surprises me. Um, but the... Uh, yeah, and they got different kinds of green tea here, too. We had a guy a couple weeks ago, hasn't been able to find green tea. They've even got the Lipton one here. I think you asked for the all-natural, 100% natural green tea here. That's 40 packets, 40 tea, tea bags for uh, $4. Uh, and they do have some of the Zazo. You know, the biggest place where we find the most Zazo tea is Target. So, so I'm going to go ahead and say that... The Kool-Aid is low because of school. However, we did see back in last October, November, pretty much through all of winter, that there was a real struggle to get in Capri Sun and Kool-Aid. And this was long after school had started. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. I remember last year we got a ton of comments trying to find Kool-Aid. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep our eye out. It is uh, definitely low here, but, yeah, people probably buying it up, remembering what happened last year. Somebody had asked 
for me to check out the Great Value Lunch Meats. I guess you've been having trouble finding them. Um, they do have them here. These are the 9 ounces, the same as the 9 ounce. You know, we'll compare the 9 ounce ones here. Uh, $4.46 for the Great Value for 9 ounces seems very high. These were $3.98 not that long ago. And I think we got to go over here. Uh, $4.50, right? So four cents more for the Hillshire Farm and Cons nine ounces, but they are okay. They do have some here. Uh, yeah, four fifty five twenty nine for the nine ounce Hillshire Farm and Cons at Kroger, and then we'll look at Oscar Meyer here. Uh, wow, four dollars. Okay, well that's not too bad of a price. These are the nine ounces. Uh, well, some of them are a little different. Uh, they got the turkey breast here, 448. I was gonna say I thought these were 448. Also, this price not be bright. I, this is something I would definitely take a picture of and show them at the register when you go up to pay for your stuff. Okay, so haven't seen Geta in a while. Haven't checked on it. Somebody left a comment, uh, wanted to see if the prices have gone up. They sure have. Seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. I'd hate to see what this is at Kroger. I'll have to check next time I go. Um, yeah, 738. You know, this is kind of a Cincinnati thing. Uh, it is basically oatmeal sausage. It is sausage mixed with oats. And, uh, they mix it in together. Uh, years and years ago during the uh, Great Depression, this was a big seller because we were running very low on meats. And they would uh, mix the pork in with oats to make it stretch. And it became quite popular. I gotta say, it's pretty delicious, but... $7.38 a pound is uh, pretty expensive. Do a quick glance at the eggs here. Okay, so these were $2.83, and the last time we were here, we saw it went up to $3.01, but they took the sticker down. So, I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. I think, I think we had to do this last time with this thing so we could, yeah, okay. $3.01. $3.01 for 12 eggs. Eggs just continue to go up. We've been getting a lot of comments of people's eggs being ridiculously overpriced, like $5. Somebody said $4.59 the other day. I think it was at Dollar General the other day, it was $4.15, I think it was, for 12 count of eggs. Now this is 36 eggs, two 18 counts for $8.84. Jeez. We have really seen the 60 count great value eggs kind of jump up and down constantly in price. Uh, so these were uh, these were over 15 or 13.55 was when we first started checking on the 60 count eggs a couple months ago. They had gone down to 10.55. Now I don't know how that happened, but it was 10.55 for a couple weeks. Then we saw it go up to 13.55 again, or it was a different. It was like 13.58, so like a few cents more than the first time. $14.59 now for 60 count eggs and we've been getting comments 60 count eggs going anywhere from 15 to 16 dollars pretty much all over the country so find a deal on it buy it up now i always have to say for our new viewers you know we are in cincinnati ohio around a lot of dairy farmers we have it pretty good on milk here at this walmart dollar 88 a gallon uh kroger's right now is a dollar 99 a gallon and that actually came down from $2.29 a gallon a little while back. But how they're able to keep milk this cheap around here is pretty awesome. Got a couple comments on chocolate milk again. Um, Walmart's starting to get their gallons back in too. We saw this was an issue here and Kroger and Meyer for the gallons. Now they continue to get in half gallons. $1.13 for a half gallon of milk. I mean, that is as good of a deal as you're ever going to find. Um, $1.88 for a gallon. I mean, that's incredible. Uh, now the true moo somebody asked about a little while ago we did go over this they are out of the vitamin d one and they're out of the gallons uh three dollars and 42 cents for a half gallon here refrigerated coffee creamers do continue to be an issue i'm not going to go every one here we're just going to kind of pan over and see what they have there are some delights i know that's what we get the most comments on 5.98 for uh the delight like the bigger ones here, six twenty nine at Kroger. So yeah, a little bit of a better deal here. Also, they have the big jugs of the almond breeze. We always get comments on for four fifty seven here. We've been seeing these for five ninety nine, so it's a pretty good deal. Okay, so the last time we came here, Walmart was lower on baby formula than they had been 
Um, but I gotta say, this is a lot lower, and I'm kind of surprised that none of the Kenda Mill or the um, the Australian brand, the Bubs, that they're not getting any of that here at Walmart. Like, this is just all Similac and Gerber. Uh, they do have some of the uh, powder here. Somebody was asking about the Sensitivity Premium. That's parent's choice, though. I don't think that's Similac. Um, wow, they went up here at Walmart, too. A dollar. Wow, 1582 to 1682. The, the prices on these six pack things have gone up everywhere now. Every store, they've gone up a dollar. Um, geez, I don't know, that's crazy. They do have the, wow, what is this? The Similac Alimentum went up. This was 998. Now it's 1173. I wonder, I haven't seen this in a while. This, uh, we saw this at Chris, the one Kroger was getting in for a while, and Meyer, and it was $9.99, $11.73. That is ridiculous. So this is not as packed of the Gerber brands and the Baby Only here, Organic Gentle. As you can see, they have filled in the other stacks that they had here with this, this stuff, uh, little baby boosters. But yeah, I mean, this is, uh, very low again here at Walmart, unfortunately. A quick glance at the pet food here. They they are pretty well uh, stocked on Fancy Feast compared to a lot of other stores. And somebody pointed out they are 83 cents here, seven cents cheaper than they are at Kroger. And they have a, some of the multi packs here too. But yeah, this is definitely a lot more Fancy Feast than we saw the last time we were here. However, if it's not one, it's the other. They are definitely a lot lower on Friskies. Um, they were packed. With friskies the last time we were here and very, you know it seems to always be maybe the the fancy feast truck came last week and maybe the friskies truck will come next week I, I don't really know there's really no rhyme or reason however for all of our new viewers out there at least for our walmart and you can check with yours anything over 35 dollars still includes free shipping saves you gas if you do it that way um and chewy.com if it's in your service area or in their service area then uh, anything over $49 is free shipping still, so something to think about. So somebody was asking me to check out some of the back-to-school supplies. I gotta say, the cheapest that I think we've really seen anything as far as this kind of stuff, pens, notebooks, stuff like that, has been Target, surprisingly. Um, they do have some good deals, though. We've got some markers here for $0.97. Cents. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I will have to check next time we go to Target. I mean, this stuff does seem pretty decently priced. But you know what? Not. I don't think it's as good as it's been in the past. Um, I don't know. If anything looks really expensive here to you guys, let me know down in the comments. Um, and if you can find it cheaper somewhere else. I mean, a pair of scissors for four eighteen back to school sale. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound like that great of a deal. Like these little posted things are a dollar. Like you would think back to school sales would be like a quarter. There's, whoops. Oopsie. Now this right here, this sounds a little overpriced for back to school sale. $2.17 for 24 pencils. Cheaper than this though. This is 24 pencils for $9.96. Oh, they're already sharpened. Oh, okay. So, you're still going to have to get a pencil sharpener for when it wears down. I don't know. Yeah, these... Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Somebody had said in the comments that uh, you'd noticed that a lot of the back-to-school prices weren't that good. I can't remember the store you went to, though. Let me know if it was Walmart, because, yeah, the more I look at this stuff, I don't know. Stuff looks pretty expensive for back-to-school sales. I, the Sharpie deal here seems pretty good, because these, these are usually not that cheap. $5.44. I don't know. Okay, so now I know this is a little expensive because $0.84 cents for a 150 college rule, that's like, isn't that like regular price? Isn't that like regular? That's no back-to-school sale. These should be like $0.35 cents or cheaper. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to check Target next time we go there. I'm glad somebody mentioned to check this out. For these small binders like this, $4. Oh, this says heavy duty. You're right six dollars for that that's crazy they do have these master locks here for five dollars and 27 cents though uh that sounds like an okay deal i feel like these are usually like ten dollars so um yeah 
these cheap folders. These cheap, wow, $1.48 for this. That's plastic, I guess, so it's not like the paper. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> Probably should have checked this stuff out first. Okay, they've got these really cheap. Now, these are like the inside, go, the little sleeves that go inside a binder for 50 cents. I don't even see like the paper. F oh, okay, here they are. Okay, paper folders, 15 cents. Yeah, guess you're not going to get much cheaper than that. Okay, so I did find the notebooks here. And I knew I saw something for 35 cents. Uh, so these, uh, yeah, these notebooks are 35 cents. Um, yeah, about the same as it is ever. May find like a four for a dollar here somewhere, but I don't know. Hey guys, well, I am out of Walmart, out of the madhouse. It is getting very crowded in there. Lots of people shopping for uh, school supplies and stuff like that. So it was hard to really kind of see everything. Um, some of the some of the stuff seems pretty overpriced. We're gonna have to check at Target the next time we go. Uh, and some of that. I wasn't able to get back to the dog food uh, because there were people putting stuff away pretty much everywhere. It looked like they had a good amount of dry food. And from what I saw, it looked like they had a good amount of canned food too. And again, if you're having trouble finding pet food, always check out Chewy.com or Walmart. Uh, Walmart shipping is uh, $35. Anything over $35, still free shipping. Save you some gas there. Chewy.com, it's $49. But I feel like Chewy has a lot more stuff. So if you have trouble getting your stuff through Walmart, check out Chewy.com. It has helped out. It has helped out a lot of our viewers. Well guys, that's gonna do it today. I had to get in the car here and get the AC going because it is 91 degrees outside and I am sweating bullets. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.